Hi guys, Andrew Nash here, welcome from my daily planners. A month ago I showed you our planner with Google links that uses Google Calendar's feature for setting reminders and notifications. Once clicked, Google Calendar's event window will pop up with precise date and time. Among these videos I told you that we can use only Google Calendar, but now I present you the first planner that uses Apple Calendar. What? So Apple Planner has all four features same as Google Planner. You can learn more about them in link below. So what do we need to use this planner? On the first page of basically every planner you have instruction notes and here we have important notes saying in order for Apple Calendar links to work from this digital planner you need to install the following My Daily Planner shortcut on your iPad. So what is My Daily Planner shortcut and why do we need this? On every Apple device there is a native app called Shortcuts on your Mac, on your iPad, on your phone and even on Apple Watch. And this app enables you to run several steps by one click. Uh, I will not go more into detail uh, regarding this app here but you can easily search for iOS shortcuts to learn more about this great feature. Anyway, we use this to connect Digital Planner and Apple Calendar. So in order for Apple Links to work, uh, we need this shortcut installed. So let's go back to the note. It says further, first go to settings on your iPad, shortcuts, enable private sharing. Why? Because uh, sometimes you will be asked for permission to install third-party shortcuts. So you do that by going to settings, shortcuts, and then enable private sharing. If you have privacy concerns regarding this, you can install the shortcut and then turn this setting off. Again, we need shortcut to be on your iPad in order to communicate with Apple Calendar. Let's go back to GoodNotes. And even here, it's written, you can disable it again after installation. So enable Apple Calendar links. Yes. And you will get window for setting our uh, shortcut. Let's do that. Only the first time when you install this shortcut, you will be asked to configure this shortcut and to choose your default note taking app. By default, it's set to good notes, but if you have note shelf, Notability or any other note taking app, you can find your app here and choose Add Shortcut. And when you go to All Shortcuts, you will see that shortcut is installed. If you ever wish to switch to some other note taking app, then go back to this link, click again, and you will uh, be asked to overwrite and set your default app again. The last setting that I would recommend for you to check is go to settings and then find your calendar and check your default alert times go for events and then choose your default alert time you know so you don't have to pick notification time every time when you set a new reminder or notification so I will set five minutes before and you can even set for your all day events how early you want to be notified. Let's set an event to see how this works. Let's go to today's date, 26 September, and we will set an event for 2 p.m., for example, meeting. I will copy this, and then I will tap and hold on 2 p.m. Open link. It will ask you for external link, same as Google Planner. This is normal for all note-taking apps. We are hoping that in future there will be an option to turn off this warning. For now, we need to live with this. And there we have it, new event from Apple Calendar. You can see that shortcut was run in the background, but very quickly you get this in a uh, window and now you can paste your title. You see that precise date and precise time are already set in and we need to check how early we want to be notified. So 
let's add this an event it's set here and i will get back to you when a uh, notification starts and there you have it notification for the event that we set through digital planner you will get this notification on your iphone or any apple device that you have connected on the same account i think this is very useful feature and now you can choose between having a google calendar notification or apple calendar notifications now let's set notification for all day event these events are usually something that you need to do during a day but without specific time your to-do list or they can uh, serve as reminders for some events happening on that particular day so for example let's go to 29th september and let's write birthday which is in fact my daily planner's birthday yay copy this And now let's click on clock icon above. Yes, shortcut is running. And then you get new event window, but with all day event turned on. Paste your title. And click add. Now you have that event set in to uh, serve as a reminder on that date. If at any moment you want to see preview of a day that you're at, you need to click on Apple icon above. Shortcut will run. And you will get a preview for this day. Uh, note that our shortcut is uh, popping up Apple Calendar as floating window on site for day preview. But if we go to month and uh, we click again on Apple icon above, then shortcut will run a full screen Apple calendar where you can choose month preview or even a week preview. And if you want to see your agenda, all your upcoming events, you need to click on agenda icon uh, on top. Shortcut is running and you see all the events we scheduled so far you can choose an event from here to see the details this is good opportunity to note that if you're using ios 15 then our shortcut will pop up apple calendar as floating window by itself but if you're using ios 14 for example you will need to do that by yourself by taking shortcuts and placing them as floating window if you're annoyed by all these colors, you can go back and you will have this simple list, which is easier to bear. Now, when I go to agenda, shortcut is showing only that list. iOS 16 is very close and everything will work same as iOS 15. And that's it, guys. This is how we managed to connect Digital Planner with Apple Calendar. Thank you for watching, leave comments below, do you find this useful and have fun time planning in your Apple planner. Ciao!